used to work on a farm in Forrington when I was in my late teenage years and my early 20s. And I used to have a lot of fun with irrigators. They get you wet, they get stuck, they go down rows. Let me explain this to you, look. Do you see that there's rows, rows, and rows? The wheels of the irrigator fit in between these rows. Now when the wheels go off of the bed, that is when you are in trouble. Because I've had to pull these machines back on track while they're working. And the pressure that goes through there is very powerful and strong. So ladies and gentlemen, the amount of fun that I've had with an irrigator, imagine the fun that you could have with one. It is fun working. And I've always worked ever since I've been about nine years old, seven years old. My dad's taught me to work from a very young age. But I love the way irrigators work. So let me just tell you my memories of irrigators because they are great, great fun. Irrigators, many, many good times. I hope you've enjoyed my stories of irrigators because there's a lot of technical work that goes into making these work and very scientific. So much more intelligence than what you just see. It's not just water coming out of a jet. It all has to be lined up and positioned so it works without a human interaction. Irrigators, well, this is probably quite a lot of facts that you've just learned about irrigation. Shine on everybody. And Cambodia was the first country in the world to have irrigation. So it became a little super colony. One of the first superpowers in the world ever was Cambodia. Because they learnt to irrigate. It's all about irrigation, ladies and gentlemen. It is all about irrigation. Shine on irrigation. It's all about irrigation. about irrigation.